Hi, it's Andrew here from uh, EasyPyro.com, um, and I'm just going to introduce the new 12Q wireless firing system to you. This is the MS12, um, and it's just a nice little simple system that you can use on its own, uh, or you can use it in conjunction with our 1Q receivers as well. So, like the other 12Q distributed system we have, um, it comes with the same 12-channel remote control, um, and here we have our integrated firing receiver. Uh, this thing can run off six AA batteries, which are behind this screw-down door here. Uh, or you can also run it off of an external battery pack with a wire that we supply that has crocodile clips on it and you simply plug it in here. So if you want more power to fire your cues you could use a 12 or a 24 volt battery pack. So to switch the unit on you simply take your keys and insert them into the side, switch it to on. The battery voltage meter is going to show you the battery voltage. We've got fresh AA batteries in here, so it will show about 9 volts. Um, and you need to pair up the remote control to the receiver to make it work. So to do this, you're just going to turn the remote control on by flicking the power switch up on the side. And with the rocker switch in the middle position, which is the learn position, press and hold the learn button until the learn light comes on and then press and hold any button on the remote control and the learn light will blink twice. Now what you've done is you've programmed this remote control to this receiver here. So if I was to put the system to arm mode it's now ready to fire. So if I press button 1 you should see Q1 fire here. So we'll do this in 3, 2, 1 you can see Q1 fired. I can do the same for Q2, Q3, Q4 and so on up to Q12. Something to note about this is that when you fire a Q, there is about a three second time delay between firing the Q and being able to fire the Q again. This is to prevent you firing a Q repeatedly into a dead short and damaging the firing transistors in the system. So for example if I fire Q1 and then immediately press button 1 again, you'll see that Q1 is not firing. You have to wait a few seconds after you've last fired that Q to fire it again. So now if I press it, you'll see Q1 fires. Okay, so now I'll just show you the test mode that this has. Um, this is the same as pretty much any other firing system. Um, it just allows you to test the continuity of your E-matches before you fire. So we'll take it out of arm mode and put the rocker switch to the right hand side, which is test mode. You'll see you have um, strong red LEDs on the top and weak green LEDs on the bottom. If we were to connect an E-match, like this, you'll see that the red LED goes out to show good continuity and you have a strong green LED. We could, then, we could then put the unit into fire mode and then we know our remote control is already paired up and we can fire this E-match in 3, 2, 1. To clear a stored remote control from the receiver, all you do is press and hold the learn button for around 5 seconds. You need to make sure that the rocker switch for the receiver is in the middle position, which is the learn position. So we'll press and hold the learn button. The learn light will come on, and if we keep holding the button, it will go off and blink three times. We can let go, and we now know that the stored remote control in there has been cleared. So with the remote switched on, ah, if we arm the receiver, with the remote switched on, we can fire, and nothing's happening. If you want to repair the remote control to the receiver, just switch it back to learn mode, press and hold the learn button until the learn light comes on, let go and press any button on the remote control. The learn light blinks three times and if we put the receiver back into arm mode, we can now fire keys. Something else I want to show you are these single key receivers here. These single Q receivers are part of the 12Q distributed package that we sell and also the 4Q package or you can just buy them on their own. The great thing about them is that they can also be used with the 12 channel system that I've just shown you. All you need to do is turn them on and pair them up to the same remote control that you used to pair with the 12Q system. So all we do, just like the other system, is we hold down the learn button until the learn light comes on then we press and hold the button on the remote control. The learn light will blink three times and then this remote is paired to this receiver here. We can do the same, press and hold the learn button, we'll pair it to button 1 on the remote, 
Okay. So what's happened now is button one on this remote control is paired to these two receivers here, and the entire remote control is also paired to the 12 key receiver here. So if I bring all these into shot, you should now be able to see that with all the systems on ARM, when I press button one, Q1 will fire here, and these two will also fire at the same time. Three, two, one. You can see there, all three fired. And you can then, of course, go on and use key 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 12 on the 12-key system. Now, you can pair as many receivers, both single key ones and 12 key ones, to any button on the remote control. So, for example, you could have a center position with all of your effects, and then perhaps on key 1 and key 2, you could have um, some extra single key receivers off to either side for single shot effects or single ignition kicks. The system is really quite flexible like this. Um, you can pair up however many receivers to whichever button on the remote control that you want.